Well, today is going to be another review um, of one of the teas, the core teas from the David's Tea Collection. Um, I really have been enjoying going through these teas because I think, as I mentioned before, it's very easy to get caught up in the new, the limited edition teas, and then I don't always go back to drink some of the um, the older teas that I have from the core collection. So, um, okay, there was a creepy bug. <laughs> I film right in front of a window because there's like tons of natural light, um, but there was like a weird bug, and so I had to go get the central vac to vacuum it up. It was... I don't know, it was a wasp or something. But anyway, so as I was saying, I think it's very easy to get caught up in the new teas, and then I don't always go back to revisit the core teas. So in doing these reviews, I'm pulling things out and I'm remembering, wow, you know, I really like that tea. So today I am looking at Toasted Walnut. This is one of their very, probably, um, one of their very well-known teas, right up there with um, Forever Nuts. This one is usually always available as a free sample when you purchase online. So it, it is one, definitely one of their core teas. It's a green tea and it says, this bestseller green tea blends the comforting taste of toasted walnuts with the sweetness of dried pineapple, coconut, and almond. Ingredients are Sencha green tea, nut brittle, pineapple, coconut, walnuts, almonds, natural and artificial flavoring. So this is what it looks like here. So you can see those big chunks of nuts. You can see that Sencha green tea, some of the fruit pieces. I don't spill it all out. Okay. And this feels sweet and nutty, but I can distinctly smell the green tea. I steep this up at a green tea temperature I think I did this at 165, 175 maybe for two minutes and I steeped it up. This is a David's Tea mug from last year with the little raccoon, so cute. I, I like this one, that's what it looks like. Super cute, cute mug. Okay, so I uh, steeped it up for two minutes. Um, I like this one. I. So, um, I used to didn't like green teas, but even when I was still trying to develop a flavor, like a taste or trying to get used to green teas, I always still like this one. You can certainly taste the green tea in here, but I don't find it to be so heavily grassy that it's, it's, um, difficult to drink. It's not like that at all. The first thing I get is that slight mild grassiness followed by the nuttiness. And then there is that sweetness, so ever so slight fruity sweetness, very subtle. All the flavors in here really, um, okay, there was another bug I had to get. I just don't want them to um, sting the kids. And I think what happens, we have shake shingles. Okay, so there was another one, but we, we have shake shingles and I think somehow they've gotten underneath there and made a nest or something and the orchid guy couldn't find it. And um, when the weather turns, I mean, it's still very warm, but it the warmth is, it's just like a different feel to the warmth. And now you can feel it's like a fall type of warmth. And then for some reason, it kind of brings them out and I don't know if they come through the can lights and the ceiling and down but anyway so every fall I have to fight with with these like wasp bugs or whatever so anyway long story short and I'm very afraid that they're gonna um, bite the kids so I, I'm always very worried about that so this tea anyway what I was saying is that all of the flavors really work together I don't find that it's overly um, it's not overly green but then you get that nice nuttiness with the nice natural sweetness and that slight fruity edge. But it's, I wouldn't go as far to say it's fruity. It's not. But I think it's got that sweet 
sweetness to the back end of the flavor that kind of gives you that fruity, kind of that reminiscent of a, a slight fruit flavor. Um, I, I, I think, but definitely the predominant thing, green tea with nuttiness and sweetness. That's how I would describe it. I think this tea is um, an excellent tea for someone to try to start to build their appreciation of green teas. That's what I did. Now, my green tea never used to be like a favorite of mine. My The only green tea I had that I really loved when, when I first started to branch out from just basic Lipton Orange Pico. Growing up, that's all we had. And then when I started to branch out, when I started working and I had a little, you know, tea drawer, I had Republic of Tea, daily tea. It was a green tea with apple blossom. That, to this day, is probably still one of my favorite teas. They don't make it anymore. But it was the perfect Oh, apple. Oh my gosh. I love that tea. So that tea was really the first green tea that I liked. And then as I progressed into my tea journey and wanted to try different types of teas, um, I started to really want to know more about green teas. And the best way I think to start, if you don't like green tea, I think the best way to start to really get a taste for it is to start with green tea blends, really good green tea blends, and then start to work your way up to blends that have less, less add-ins and more green tea. So you get to a point where you can drink a green tea, a straight green tea, and, um, and, and, and really enjoy it. And that's what I'm doing actually with puers too, because puers is really probably the last tea that I've really fully explored and I'm still trying to learn to appreciate those. And that's what I'm doing with that. Doing blends, starting to work my way up into cakes and um, that type of thing. Um, but this one, so what I'm saying is that this would be an ideal tea for someone just starting to learn to have an appreciation for green tea. Likewise, if you like green tea, I think it's a really nice, solid, green tea. I could see why people like this and why it's in the core collection. It is a solid green tea blend. I really, really like this one. Um, I think that's all I had to say. Okay, so I think that's it. If you have any questions on the tea, leave those below. Uh, and then if you have any um, core David's Tea teas that you want reviewed, Leave that down below too, and I'll get to those. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.